All right, real quick here, I'm going to do a little demonstration video on how I set my bottom edge blind bridge sets. I don't know what, really what to call them, but we'll just say that this is the river coming down through here. We're going to say the side of my garage here is the concrete coming down, and then we'll just goes right down to the ground, and then we'll say the ground is the riverbed. All I use for this set is a 110 Conibear. Got my trigger bent like that. Have it wired off to a brick, and that's all I do. <laughs> so when I get down out of the truck, I just grab my trap and grab the brick comes with it. And once I get in the water, I slide this down and I set the conibear just like this. Dog, I always put the dog of the trap out away from the bridge. Bend my spring over a little bit. And then I come in and I put my brick. Just like that. That's all I do. That's the set. That's it. Simple, easy. Um, I don't really know the true mechanics of why it works on mink and muskrat. All I can think is that a, a mink and a muskrat, when they come to a bridge, they dive. And they want to feel their feet on the bottom and they want to feel the wall on the side of them. So they uh, know exactly where they're at and they'll come swimming along and they just swim right into the trap and bing bada bang and you got them. So we're going to make a couple of these sets and uh, hopefully we'll have some catch video to show you. But uh, let's go get, get them set. All right, we're down here checking them traps that I set for that bottom edge set along the bridge abutment. I set two of them. There's my brick. And as you can see, we got a nice little muskrat. Then, I put another one in here. I always like, if it's good enough for one trap, it's good enough for two. And we have something in the second one. Not a muskrat. A friggin' trout. Well, that happens. There's a... <laughs> but, I look at it this way. I don't like catching them trout. I usually catch suckers sometimes, and not very many trout. But, I'm gonna have a meal fit for a king. Muskrat and trout. Something I forgot to mention to you guys yesterday. There we go. How about that for a double? Something I forgot to mention to you guys yesterday. This is also a great spot for a colony trap. Um, so we might, uh, well, I'm probably reset a colony trap here today. And we'll uh, brought one down here. We'll put this in here and we'll see what tomorrow brings. At least if I get a trout in here, I'll be able to let him go. Just drop that in there, put it right up along the edge. Um, we'll put a brick on it along the edge just to hold her in place, but that's it. Check her out tomorrow. I got a couple requests from guys on uh, how I make my brick mount for my bottom edge sets that I slide up under the undercut banks or something like that. It's really pretty simple. It just consists of a Barker 160 Conibear Con mount. I get the 160 mounts just because they work better even on the 110s. Um, you need a patio block for it. And then you need these uh, these anchors that go like in drywall if you're going to hang a picture. Or uh, you know they go in the concrete and then you put a screw in them. And uh, we'll show you how that all works out here. Uh, you can get them in a you can get them in a whole kit and it comes I get them in a kit they got 50 of the plastic pieces 50 of the screws and then you get one one five sixteenths masonry bit I recommend you buy extra bits if you're going to do more than five or ten of them because the bits don't last long that you get in there main part of this you're going to need one of these patio blocks um, it's the ones that got the little grooves where you can divide it into four this one's broke already so we'll We'll just show you what we do here. All you need to do, you're going to get four of them out of this. All you need to do is you take your chisel and work your way down that groove. And then it'll, it just, uh, er, just pops apart and breaks just like that. So you end up with four pieces just like that. Um, 
Then you want to do, you want to take your masonry. This is a masonry drill bit. You know, when you buy the extra ones, make sure you get the masonry. Um, they're really meant to be used on a hammer drill, but you can use them on a regular drill. And I'm going to drill two holes. First hole I'm going to drill right in the middle of the brick, right there. Second hole, that's where I'm going to put the mount. Second hole I'm going to drill up in one of the corners, right there, and that's just for wiring off my brick. So what you're going to end up with, <laughs> you're going to end up with a brick with two holes in it. And uh, then all you got to do is you take your uh, little plastic insert here, and you start it in the hole. Then all you got to do is just slowly tap it in. Once it's in there, it fits kind of loose, um, but how these things work, let me show you here. So when you put the screw in them, as the screw goes in, it'll expand this. As you can see right there, it expands that. So that pushes on the, on the hole and it, and it keeps it in there really solid. They, they work just, they're awesome. So once you get that insert in there, just take your mount, start, start your screw. Now you don't have to buy 50 of these. I mean, they, they sell them in most hardware stores and I mean, small kits are 10, I think. So maybe even five. Once you get that screw started, line it up with that hole in that plastic insert. And you just screw it in there just like that. And, that, and that's really the whole gist of the system. Um, and then all you gotta do, like I said, you get your trap. You wire wire your trap to the to the hole in the corner, and to set it. Now it works really good with these kind of bears that got the straight corners, you know, 90 degree corners. On the ones that got a little bend in them, <laughs> you have to bend these tabs up just a little bit. But like I said, make sure you get the 160 mounts. The 110 mounts are a little bit narrower, and they only work for the 110. Um, if you get the 160 mounts, they work for the 110. And they work for the 160, which I do both. You know, I take the got one a single spring 160 that I like to use too. So you just take your trap, set it in between there, set your dog over your trigger, and that's it. You're ready to go. And you get them uh, undercut banks. You can just take and slide this right on underneath there, and and you're good to go. Um, that trap went up. The trap goes off, it's hung up by the wire, so your catch is not going to get away, and the bricks there, um, they basically last forever. Cost-wise, uh, you got probably about a buck and a quarter in the mount. Um, the bricks are less than a dollar, and you get four, so we'll say you got 25 cents into the brick, so that's a buck and a half. You know, you got less than a quarter into the screws, so, uh, you know, about a buck 75, and, and you got a really good mount for mounting your 110s and your 160s for doing your bottom edge sets and stuff like that so if you guys can use it great hope you learn a little bit that's all we got